country or business is immune to climate impacts. Yet, while we have known about climate change for decades, we have been slow to act. We are now on a path to increasing climate impacts that will continue to intensify for the foreseeable future. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, to avoid the worst climate impacts, global emissions must be half by 2030 and reach net zero by 2050, if not sooner. In parallel, significant investment in climate adaptation is urgently needed. Yet despite pledges from countries and companies to reduce carbon emissions, temperatures continue to rise. Without transforming our economies to bring emissions down, we will overwhelm the planet's ability to recover with devastating consequences. International movements and demonstrations are placing increased pressure on governments and businesses to act. Investors, lenders, insurers, and customers increasingly expect businesses to embed climate risks and opportunities into their strategic planning. In the wake of the global financial crisis, the G20's Financial Stability Board established the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosures, the TCFD, to better understand the risks of climate change to the global economy and to help businesses identify, understand, monitor, and oversee the changes necessary to mitigate climate risks and realize the opportunities of a climate transition. The TCFD recommendations provide a global reference for businesses from all sectors to assess and disclose their climate-related financial risks and to develop scenario-informed strategies to address climate impacts. Given our current trajectory of warming, the resilience of businesses, the economy, society, and Earth's ecosystems are all at risk. The TCFD recognizes two categories of climate risks, physical risks and transition risks. Physical risks include damage to assets, supply chain disruptions, impacts on employee health, availability of water for business needs, and the disruptive impacts of drought, flooding, and forest fires. Transition risks include policy, legal, and technological changes, reputation and litigation risks, and market risks and opportunities stemming from the necessary transition to a net zero economy. These include greater demands for disclosure, carbon pricing, technology substitution, litigation, changing customer demands, and societal acceptance of your transition strategy. More and more companies are voluntarily disclosing information about their physical and transition risks in their financial filings and reporting. Mandatory climate risk disclosure is sure to follow. New Zealand was the first country to require mandatory climate risk reporting in line with the TCFD guidelines, with several other countries enacting or considering similar mandatory disclosure requirements. Regulation and litigation are two transition risks with the potential to reshape the way businesses think about and respond to climate change. As governments implement policies to drive the net zero transition, companies will be required to adapt to a new regulatory environment. Carbon pricing systems are being implemented or considered on every continent. Several countries have declared a climate emergency, as have nearly 2,000 municipal governments worldwide. Many countries are prioritizing climate justice in their transition to net zero. They are investing in worker retraining, sustainable infrastructure, and climate adaptation projects that serve remote and systemically disadvantaged communities. They are also drawing on nature-based solutions that recognize and respect the rights and lands of Indigenous peoples. Meanwhile, litigation over climate rights and liabilities is on the rise. Energy companies are facing lawsuits from cities, states, and the public. Governments are also facing lawsuits from their citizens, including youth, for failing to protect their right to a healthy future. These mounting climate risks and ratcheting societal expectations have significant implications for the future success of your business. Your company needs to understand these climate risks and be prepared.